Hey all, Russ here, Arvair TV. How you doing today? Well, Scoobs and I were heading over to uh, I-15 North. Traveling through the Idaho byways here. We're about, a, oh, not quite uh, 60 miles away. Pulling in a little town here. It's uh, Arco, Idaho. And I'm showing you this because there's uh, three RV parks here. And uh, it's a neat little town, very RV friendly. There's one there on the right. I mean, they're not real fancy, but you can easily get a hookup spot and uh, camp out here. Especially if you're going to go over and see that uh, Crater of the Moon Park. Alrighty, well, wherever the snow-capped mountains are is where we're heading. Those are the Rockies right there. You know, this is vast out here. Every once in a while you pass by a farm, see a lot of cattle, and uh, farming is just a huge here. Sure is pretty. Roads are nice too, even uh, from all the snow. You know, these roads get destroyed for in the season. Okay, here we go. We're at I-15 North. We're heading up to into Montana. We're almost up to the border right now. We got about, no, oh, 12 miles to go. You know, I-15 is a uh, main artery. You know, over in Oregon, California, you got I-5. Here you got I-15. And Wyoming, you got I-25. And that's it. So, uh, this is a main thoroughfare, especially if you're RV and Canadians use it heavily all the snowbirds so I thought it'd be good to show you what it's really like to go over the pass because you go way up here we're gonna cross the continental divide right up here shortly the weather can change at a drop of a hat I mean we're getting way up in elevation doesn't look like it it's a very slow gradual climb and it, it's really not bad even if you're towing so it's not a bad climb at all uh, truckers love this route too. All right, we're getting close. There's a Manita uh, sign right there. That's where the pass is. All right, hang on to your seats. We're almost there. Going, going. Welcome to Montana, and you also just crossed the uh, Continental Divide. It's about 7,000 feet here, so we're way up in the air. So you're in Montana now. And this is a real long stretch, a real gradual descend. You go through a lot of farm country, and then you just keep dropping down. And uh, we're going to end up down in the uh, basin down by uh, Dillon, Montana. Look how pretty it is, though. Look at that blue against the white cap mountains. I mean, oh, it's, it's just a peaceful, relaxing drive up here. I love it. I've made this trek over this pass, oh, God, at least 20 times now. And every time, I'm just thankful. I've even got caught up here in a couple blizzards, but really wasn't real bad. They have, uh, it's well maintained. You know, they always have plows and the salt trucks and everything out but I mean look at this weather today this is just picture perfect coming up is one of my favorite parts too we go through these rocky cliffs where they cut it out for the freeway right here just neat looking There's not too many stops on uh, either side of the pass you can get gas, but make sure you got a pretty full tank if you're going to come over this. And also make sure you got emergency supplies if you get caught up here in the bad weather. But it's heavily traveled. It's You'd be fine. Look at that cliff. Isn't that pretty? We're almost down getting near the bottom now. In just a few short weeks, everything will be real green here. They're still going through their winter thaw. It's still, uh, ground's still half frozen and thawing out here. 
but when this greens up, it's really uh, nice. Hey, we're at the bottom. You know, they changed the speed limit to 80 miles an hour now over the pass. I mean, you can fly over this thing. 80 miles an hour. That's pretty good. And this little car did pretty good, too. Hey, well, this is uh, Dillon, Montana right here. It's a little farming community. They got a few motels. Scoops and I are going to call it a night here. We're going to pull off the road. It's been a long day of driving. Thanks for watching RV or TV. Hey, this is Russ. I'm going to sign off now. Hope everyone has a great evening and don't forget to travel safe. Take care, everyone. Talk to you soon.